said hello to. So, you know, reference to, you know, reference to like John Paul Getty and Randolph Hearst and George Vanderbilt and Andrew Carnegie and other things. You know, all these all these politicians that are doing this, they're breaking the law. You know, I'm the rightful owner, and there's, that's it. There's just no no ifs, ands, or buts. They're breaking the law of tycoons. Yeah, they can't they can't break up the estate. It's it's a royal estate of an American royal and European royalty history. My family, I mean, I'm like the last living relative. You know, you got royal blood. You're all the same. <laughs> I can see it in you, Tony. You got this certain fucking glow about you. I can see you got royal blood fucking flowing through your veins and those fucking satellite CIA fucking faggots, they do not like it because you are a fucking danger to the status quo. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of like, well, I'm the rightful owner, so it's kind of like, and I have more American status than anybody in the CIA or FBI or any elected official. Because it's exactly. Exactly. My mother and father's estates and grandparents' estates, you know, have been family history. And I'm the rightful owner. So and it's anybody trying to contest it, it means they're trying to play communism or socialism, which is a manipulation of the facts of guidelines and laws that protect the ownership that I am the owner. So it's kind of like it doesn't make sense why they would contest it. Because there, it's it's a criminal offense for them to contest my ownership. Exactly, man. That's it, what it I'm saying. Can, international treason, too. I mean, these people are fucking criminals. At the end of the day, they're fucking yeah. criminals, and unfortunately, there's not too much we can do about it. You know, I'm, I mean, they're ruling things as it is. We got to hope that we can fucking take it back one day. Hey, space isn't real. I think they're insulting you. And much of my life. Hey, you know what? We got a lot of fucking government operatives here in the chat, all right? I'm not paying them any fucking mind, all right? Well, that's right. I mean, they're talking a bunch of malarkey, and um, I don't like it. No, I, I'm not paying them any more mind than I would a fucking bug on the road, you know? Squish them if I can, but. I feel you. You, you, you got the right mindset right here. Okay. But everybody knows that the government is not allowed to hide things from the American people, you know? Exactly. The government man really needs to get in the courtroom and he needs to understand that you can't hide a state. You can't hide wealth and old money. It's not like they will lose the court. They're just not allowed to. They're not allowed to hide things and they're not allowed to manipulate. And they're not allowed to acquire other people's property or land and they're not allowed to be blocking me. Like they were blocking me trying to terrorize my life and then people don't even know anything about satellites. And then my teeth got damaged or these government men tried to call me crazy so they could attack me and so they could steal sperm or blood or, you know, or they wanted to mutilate my looks. They tried to call me a junkie. But see, everywhere I'm at, every day is documented. Like, they did these things damaging my face and teeth, and I've never been involved in any drugs, never been involved in any criminal activity. Never been involved in uh, any, you know, shady type things or anything. I, you know, I just stay in most of the time. I'm supposed to be at my mother and father's mansions. You know, I'm supposed to be in movies and television shows and music. And I'm supposed to be at the parent companies of my mother and father, you know, visiting different locations and traveling to different cities and states where my mother and father's mansions are at, you know. Because my parents own mansions in several states, you know. So, you know, it's kind of like my life is pretty much documented what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm supposed to be enjoying life because the government tried to murder me when I was a little boy and any intrusiveness of government is more lawsuits always. So I, heard, uh, I heard why they're stealing, they tried stealing the sperm. It's because they know that you've got power lifter DNA. You've got like exceptional DNA. So they're trying to make like a satellite super soldier up in the in the space station, they're trying to make like a set super soldier army out of clones from your DNA. Well, it's kind of like th what they tried to do. They stole sperm when they had injured me, 
which is criminal. They're not allowed to steal sperm. You know, I'm supposed to be protected by the royal uh, rare blood type protection laws, which they have to track down all the people that tried to do human trafficking with stolen sperm, and they have to get charged. Yeah, and they need to get you into, they need to deliver the uh, Kenworth or the Volvo truck coming to the sleeper cab so you can get out of there. But it's kind of one of these things where, you know, I'm the owner. That's the facts. I was born as the owner. My parents even had documents of the treasury that said when they had me, like my parents told the treasury they were going to have a child, you know, a long, long time ago, you know. And they asked about, you know, conception. And if I was born in Europe, you know, would my American status and royal status be protected and consistent and factual with, you know, American land and European land? They said, yeah. So then everything was pretty much set that way based on factual laws of America and Europe. So it's kind of like all these people that are trying to contest my ownership they have to. Have, it goes on their criminal records. Everybody has a criminal record, period, for trying to contest my ownership. No matter what, no matter what a politician says, no matter what a government man says, no matter what anybody says, if they blocked me from my mother and father's mansions and estates, it has to be put on their record that they conflicted with my rights of ownership. And you know, then there becomes you know restraining orders and restrictions against them. Tony. They, got, they got to build you a space station, Tony. They got to build you a big like space station with your face on it. They're hitting me in the front teeth again. You That's the claim. The Treasury is obligated to stop those people. Tony, They're, do you have any clones? Documented in the Royal Protocol. Yeah, Tony, do you have any clones? No. What if, because there's some information that they're trying to clone you with your DNA. Those are people that are lazy. Why are they lazy? Because they try to steal other people's sperm where other people have worked out. Other people have put time into uh, bodybuilding or sports or athletics. And then these people try to steal their genetics to, uh, to rip off the genetics and athletic ability of somebody else's genetics and sperm. They try to steal somebody's genetics to try to create an athlete in their own family where they try to ride the financial gains that that child became a sports athlete. So they're gold digging off other people's sperm, these government people. How much is your sperm worth? It's not for sale. I can't, I'm not allowed to donate it or I'm not allowed to donate nothing. I'm not allowed to donate money, land or property or companies or revenues or anything. My parents and my grandparents had spent a lot of money in America and the treasury had looked at it and they said that, you know, I'm not allowed to be a philanthropist either, meaning I cannot donate millions of dollars to anything because my grandfathers had donated money or had invested monies, what somebody might say, they invested monies in universities and other things and some charities possibly at one time but it was in the multi hundreds of millions or billions of back in the day or something based on inflation, you know? So I'm not allowed. To, I'm not allowed. Tony, to do you, uh, do you own anything out in space? I don't know. You know, maybe there's like a planet or something. They're like a Jupiter's moon. They, they said that my DNA is on, uh, there's, there's a test tube of my DNA <laughs> on the moon. Oh, that's not good. Well, no, they put it up there just to be a special quality that nobody else or there. There's probably a few other people up there that they put their DNA on the moon or something. Like Walt Disney. Yeah, or something. And, and like, you know, someone else. Italian, Tony Soprano, maybe. Well, I don't know. But they put it up there for a special status so nobody could could try to claim any you know they there's some things they do that are a little silly but they use in court against people that try to steal my identity like or somebody tries to steal who i am and they'll be like nah we know who he is he's got a test tube of his blood on the moon 
<laughs> yeah. So who are you trying to claim to be him? You know what I mean? I mean, my parents, I mean, you know, made all the precautionary acknowledgments of what was necessary to. If you can get a test tube of your DNA onto the moon, you got to be pretty, pretty balling, pretty baller individual. I mean, that's kind of high prestigious, kind of, I guess. It's, it's very prestigious. Nobody else can do that. Well, I don't know. It's like hitting in a facility on the moon. I'm not sure how long it's been there. It's probably been there a long time, I guess, whenever, back in the day or something. Probably from back in the 80s. Possibly. Or even earlier, I'm not sure when, you know, how many times they flew up there when they thought, oh, hey, let's get little Walt Disney's DNA on the moon, you know. But my mother and father's DNA is probably up there, too. You got any on Mars? Who? Do you have any on Mars? At Mars. At, at, at Mars, the planet. The planet Mars, oh, you know. Mars. What about it? How about, you I got any know. shit over there? I don't think so. There might be a bag of shit up there. I don't know. Some turds. I think Elon Musk said he wants to like go up there. To He might want to steal any of your estates that are up there. Elon. Elon. No, I don't. Elon like, Musk is a bit of a weirdo. I mean, he he needs to stop thinking he's more than he is. You think he created those cars or do you think somebody else? No, did? I think somebody. He took the credit for it, but I, I don't think he did that. Who do you think created those electric cars? Probably some Chinese people. Some Chinese underpaid workers. You know, because he's he's not smart enough to to create that. He he just made PayPal or something back in the day. Hey, hey who do you think created Facebook? Uh, well, I don't Mark know. Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg, maybe, but he seems like a drone. See, he some people. Like a Hey, put this out there. Ask people to answer this. Some people was wondering. They thought I created Facebook. I mean, you could have. You could have. Uh, the inform the information could be out there somewhere, but it's hard. So it's hard to locate the specifics because there's Chase a lot of jamming. There's a lot of propaganda. It's called Chase Book. <laughs> yeah, Chase Book. Yeah, we need that. That's funny. But, Chase uh, Book. Chase Graham. Okay. Make, we, we're going live on Chase Graham. Chase the Graham. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, you know, ask anybody to see what people have said. They've had court cases, I guess, but I haven't received a penny from anywhere. By, by the way, if anyone's listening, those names are trademarked. You can't use them. Only Tony can use them. <laughs> it's copyrighted as well. Well, my teeth are documented for my identity and protection and this government man was trying to trying to mess up my teeth to steal my identity you know I have a, my dentist is pretty famous you know he's i've had the same dentist since i was a little boy you know are they fucking with your mouth right now yeah they're burning my upper lip and gums yeah i keep seeing you like flinch. gumbody 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 oi you know i say i say foghorn leghorn You know, but somebody thought that this man was trying to trying to mess up my face and teeth because he was trying to steal Facebook or something. I don't know. Well, did you make you Did you make MySpace? Oh, aliens! There's aliens in here. No gang aliens. He wants to join. Uh, I played some video games back in the '80s too. Oh, you made like Super Mario Brothers. I don't know. It's kind of a long story in reference to just float that room around. And say, ask you know what video games did Chase? You know what? what I need to. I need to go to Nintendo. I need to ask them if you own oh. the the company. Or Tony. Play, Sony PlayStation or something. Tony. Uh, add gang aliens. Gag aliens. Gang yeah. aliens. Yeah, gang aliens. Where's all the girls at? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they might be blocked from the communication by the. Is there like a? The satellite man might be blocking it right now. Hey, all the gang aliens. aliens. Hey, yo, what's up, hey, girls? Hey, Chase. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, Tony. Hey. Excuse me. Hey, it's been a long night. What you up to? No, uh, we're just chatting. You you know anything about aliens? I'm a I'm a big alien guy. 
Well, I, it kind of gives you a giggle, you know. I mean, I don't know. Oh, I've, been to, Area 51. I've been no, to Area, Area 51. I've been to Area 51. Area 51 is a is a is a hoax. They're really hiding them in the mountain complexes in Nevada. Somebody wanted to And there's an airport that. outside of LA where they fly these airliners without windows, in and out. It's very weird. But my mother, I think my mother and I had been there after my father had died. My father got Tony. murdered. I'm supposed to say he got murdered. He, no, it's not. He got murdered Sometimes, by dirty government. Yeah, no, that's not good. Sometimes I feel like there's bugs under my skin and I have to like scratch at my skin to get them out. Do you ever feel that's like that? Satellite. That's the satellite? Whatever creeps. I don't know. I think. Yeah. Ouch. Like, yeah, that's me. You don't Sorry. Have COVID, bugs. Do you? No. Sometimes, some, no, nah, no. Nah. Sometimes, if I, I put tin foil around my head, it, it helps a lot. It, it soothes the pain. Have you ever tried that? What's that? Putting tin foil around your skin to help keep the satellites out. Uh, that don't work. I've tried, but don't work. I've heard that that is uh, Israel is 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 trying to sigh up uh, us into being homosexual. I don't think, I don't know why you mean like Jerusalem like Jews? Yeah. No, it's not like that. It's not like it's that. It's the no. Germans in the Middle Easterners. The Germans are doing it? I know a lot of Jews, but they don't they don't try to make nobody gay. Tony, do you like Jews? I'm Catholic and Jewish, you know. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm 25%. I'm 25% Ashkenazi do. I got I got a like point six percent Ashkenazi Jew. I'm a little Jewish, Jewish Catholic. Me too. You know, Jews don't draw off your skin. Real Jews, American Jews don't. No, I'm sorry, Koliata. I'll, I'll be more wholesome. I'll be kosher. Oh, Tony's washing his dishes or something. Uh, yeah, I gotta do something. I gotta make my nachos. So, so tell me about this. Tell me about this parents thing. What's the whole deal with the parents? My teeth, you know that kind of thing. You know. Hey, Tony, what's up with your parents? With a what? What's up with your parents? My parents are frozen. Where? Uh, secret location. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. My parents are cryogenically frozen in the the alien lab I was telling you about outside LA. I've been trying to get in for ages, but they keep denying me access. Mine are cryologically frozen in a military base. I know that's what that's same, bro. We have a lot in common. Like Tony, we all have a lot in common, Tony. Our parents are frozen. I can't really hear you too well. I'm oh, on my speaker. On, hey, Tony, how speaker. tall were your parents? How tall? My father was nine feet tall. My mother was seven feet tall. Oh, he was nine feet tall? You know what the Nephilim are, Tony? Uh, the Anunnaki? Now? I don't know. Say it again. The Anunnaki? They're an ancient, race of, they're an ancient race of aliens that enslaved humanity in Neolithic times. <laughs> they're the ones that built the pyramids. I don't know. I think those are black people that built the pyramids, weren't they? Black people built the pyramid. Yakub? Yakub? Do you, do you know who Yakub is? Are the Egyptians? I, I, were they? You know, they're kind of lighter complexed than some Africans. So, well, the pyramids are in Africa, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll stop beating. But don't don't that some people can't be told that information because it it activates certain protocols. Power. On. They were kangs. They were kangs. No, 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 don't 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 say that. Don't say that. All right, all right, I'll chill out. Sorry. That's uh, it's not kosher. All right, I'm sorry. What was it? Oh, don't worry about it, Tony. 
No. Do you know Will Smith, Tony? Yeah, I know him. That's nice. Did he say he knew me? Yeah, I yeah. think he said he wanted to like he wanted to go out and eat with you or something. He'd have to pay. He he were said right. you were he said you were supposed to be in the Independence Day movie. Yeah, I was supposed to be. And in the Men in Black. I was supposed to be in a lot of movies. Were you gonna be in the uh in the nineteen ninety Ninja Turtles movie? Possibly. I was supposed to be, I guess. You could have been you could have been in there in the sewer with them eating pizza. Yeah. Michelangelo, huh? Donatello. Yeah. The Ninja Turtles. That sounds like He's man. A party they, dude. They just hit me in the teeth. Man, this this Tony, I like more kind of oral fetish. Tony, can it's you so, can you show the damage to your teeth? I'm I'm concerned. Oh man, that's not good. Can you get a bit closer? Yeah, that's that's fucking bad. Your teeth are like much. It's horrible, man. You seen the pictures of my teeth? Yeah, before, well, you still before got a they nice smile, though. Before they damaged them. Yeah, we've seen them. Yeah. You got a picture of it on your wall, too. Yeah. But, I mean, there's a close-up picture on there. My teeth was 100% perfect. And this man has done this trying to make up shit. on me and And you were back. It sounded yeah, like man was here. messing with their communication. Well, I tried to Tony. pair my... Tony, I, I think I have contact with your parents. I met someone nine feet tall. Uh, nine foot tall. His name's Valiant Thor. No, my father was nine feet tall back in the 60s, 70s. Yeah, Valiant 70s. Thor was around in the 60s, and I saw him. My father would be taller now. Oh, he no. keeps growing? Yeah, he... Yeah, my mother Tony, would be taller. Too. Tony, who has who has a bigger penis, you or your dad? Uh, well, somebody has it on record in reference to when I was born and when my father was born. It's on record. I don't know, right. bro. I can feel it. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I can feel the satellites right now. It's it's a lot. It's overwhelming. No, they do Give that. They do that sometimes. I'll be right back. But the they're in my tailbone right now. Don't listen to gang geology. He's a federal agent. He's part of the psyop to make you gay. Don't listen to him. All right. Yeah, yeah, this is Tony Soprano. Means they were contesting my mother and father's estates. 
So the man. Why are there estates? Wait, because so you were, just said that they were trying to mess up my looks to make up accusations, and then they were trying to block me from my mother and father's estates by accusing me of drugs or some type of dirty lifestyle. So does, them damaging father... me were trying to interfere with the estate of my parents. So does they have to get arrested. To grow no matter what. The ice. I'm sorry, I can't hear a thing. I'm sorry, I keep interrupting. Does your father continually grow inside the ice? Hey, Tony. Satellites. What's that? Satellites got him. Does your, does your dad keep growing when he's in the ice? Uh, probably not. Yeah. When he comes back to life, he might grow a little. I don't know. Tony, when is the last time you felt the presence of a satellite? Oh, uh, they're on me right now. No, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Tony. That's oh, rough. Tony, do you have a favorite mineral, like a rock? Huh? Like rocks, like rocks and crystals and shit. Do you have a favorite uh, one? No, I mean, they're all kind of pretty. Mm, like my favorite's uh, like fluorite or feldspar. Oh, yeah, feldspar. That's a nice one. Tony, do you have good sleeping habits? Do I have what? Is it, how's your sleep hygiene? Is it good? Do you sleep well? Uh, not really. My arm's been hurting a lot. My shoulder. <laughs> That's not good. I think you should you should probably call someone. Have you ever right tried now. sleeping in the vehicle, mm -hmm. Tony? Maybe you could get better <laughs> sleep in there. If you can sleep in your van, you might get a better night's sleep because it could block out the uh, the interference. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of gamma rays that come through satellites, but they can't permeate the top of cars. But you, your house is already pretty barricaded, so like you could, you're probably already blocking out as much as it can. So I don't know. Do you know who your cub is? He created white people. I heard that the pharaoh, he was oh, no, like fuck. a middle-aged white guy. Good thing he's wearing a mask. Go ahead. Sorry. You know, you know the pharaoh of Egypt? He was like a middle-aged white guy from, like, Texas. Dick Cheney it's true, said I heard. Lord. And Newt Gingrich. Oh, yeah, Newt Gunray. Yeah, he was a piece of shit. He made all those cool. droids. Oh, they're pretty cool, I guess. I'm not sure which... No one knows how it's pronounced. He's, he works in mysterious ways. I am who I am, and I'm the rightful owner of my mother and father's estates and companies and properties and businesses. And that's who I am. And, and I'm a royal of my mother and father and family history. I'm a celebrity and entertainer. So. Hey, Tony, what, what do you think about good. God? If yeah, if you're part of a royal bloodline, you might be part of an ancient satanic cabal. What do you think about like, God, Tony? Different people, I guess, in history. Like some people wanted to know if I was related to Mozart or Beethoven. Or Tony, what do you think I'm about concerned. God? Yeah, Tony, what are your thoughts on God? Are you richer than God? <laughs> well, what do you mean by that? Because you know, like God, God like owns. He he controls like everything, right? But like you own all the companies. I don't know, that's probably two separate categories or something. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a different debate. Tony, I'm, you say you're from a royal bloodline, right? Right. You know those, those people sense. are really <laughs> evil, right? They control the world. No, but royalty has its position in certain countries. Like, That's, third those world people countries, some of them have royals, second world, some of them have royals, and, and then there's first no. world country royalty. Yeah, first world, world 
country of royalty kidnaps little babies and they cut them open and drink their blood and makes them young and healthy. You know, there's first world countries like America, and then there's second world countries like Pakistan, and then there's third world countries like Germany. <laughs> and, and you know, Germany, they don't have been anything in Germany, so they, they commit crimes of satellite. See, they said the king of Rome was trying to force me to marry his daughter or something. I would not marry her at all. I wouldn't be involved with her in any way. Tony, what's all that on your wall? What's that? What's on, what's on your wall? Products and labels of products. You make them? No, nah, from stores or whatever. Just for protection reasons. But that didn't stop the satellite man, none of it. Oh, okay. None of them stopped any of it. They still kept damaging my face and teeth. Yeah, Germany is the world's poorest country. I mean, they, they, they have uh, the worst human development index. They have the worst opportunities. They really don't have anything, and they're bitter about it. So they create these vile schemes, and they try to burn Americans with their satellite. Tony, doesn't this concern you? Do you ever get upset? Or are you just kind of uh, ca uh, like, you're very casual about it? Uh, I'm just kind of... Uh... In the neutrals, I mean, I have to stand my ground because, you know, I'm the real owner. I've already called places and said, hey, you know, I'm supposed to be at my mother and father's mansion. The reason why I had to make YouTube videos was because of the, they kept violating my life and, and you know, for social media friendliness, too. While I made other videos, you know, just depends on the content, you know, what I mentioned, but. You know, the history of uh, the situation is they're violating my rights. I've called the White House. I've called the you know, human rights offices. I've called the sexual assault hotlines. I've called the satellite man or the government man damaging my teeth. People trying to steal genetics. Hey, Tony, someone communicated. Yeah. They want to know if you've met Justin Trudeau. Like, what do you think about him? I know what. Have you? What do you think of Justin Trudeau? Oh, he's a football player that. No, no, no. He's the he's the he's the Canadian president. Oh, I don't know. Because I remember back in one video, you were saying how you don't like the Canadian president because he was like communicating about how he's burning your teeth or something. Well, somebody had communicated. They said they were in Canada. Or something. Yeah, they were burning your cat. Oh, uh, I don't know if he was. I just, my father owned the most land, or my mother owned the most uh -huh. land. So I don't know what the fuck. I'm going sorry. On. The satellite controllers got me. Yeah, well, the Canadian president, he needs to go into court, I feel like, because he can't keep doing this. Yeah, he's a globalist. He's he's conspiring to create a one world government and and displace the wealth to the one percent. And he's I trying to take away, you know, old money. Considering what you said, Tony, I think you're in on it. Oh no, what's going Tony, on? Tony, you said you're royal and that you own all the businesses. So, what do you have to say for yourself, Tony? I don't own all the businesses. I own all the businesses of my mother and father and grandparents. Okay, and that's a good save, Tony. I, that was a bit of a scare there. I, I thought that maybe you were part of the, the global elite. Tony, do you own right. Pizza Hut? Loyalty and family history. We own, my parents own things, my grandparents own things, and other people own their own things. Do you own Pizza Hut? The what? Do you, do you own Pizza Hut? Tony, what are your thoughts on 9-11? It was a setup. Mm, I agree. I was on an airplane on my way to California when it happened. That must have been scary. I think yeah, the 9 11 Commission or the Warren Commission hasn't sent me anything. I'm still getting fucking fried right now when I'm watching my Better Homes and Gardens play. 
I'm gonna be honest with you, Tony, real quick. Like, I hate to ruin the fun, but like, I hate to ruin the fun, but like, have you ever talked to anyone about this? Like, you told anyone that the satellites are after you? My father got murdered from satellites, even on his treasury record. All right. Well, I'm going to head out. Hey, make sure you, but you don't believe it? No, it's not, it's not that I don't believe it. It's that I think that if you told someone, maybe they'd be able to help you in your endeavors, your business endeavors, and help you prevent the satellites. Well, I contacted the American Dentist Association, and they were supposed to arrest them, so I don't know. That's obligatory. My parents own dentist offices. Some of, some of my uh, my grandparents own dentist offices even back in the 1800s. So yeah, I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just saying that if you maybe tell someone about the satellites, they can help you. Like what? Do you know about satellites? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I know a lot about satellites. Like, what can they do? Well, during the Cold War, we were developing... Uh, an, um, <clears throat> no, hello, I don't think that the, the, they're after you, if you've properly protected yourself. During the Cold War, we were having a... We had a rushed program to create satellites that would basically zap the Soviets from the sky. Uh, I don't know. They're burning my fucking teeth right now, I don't think that anyone's burning your teeth. I really don't. Okay, you need to go fuck yourself and log out and don't ever log in again. Oh, okay, all right. I, I was just kidding. I'm yeah, sorry. Fuck yourself in hell, you fucking CIA faggot. I, I was just kidding. I'm not a glowy, fuck I swear. Off. Fuck off. You want to fight? You want to step in the ring, bitch? No, it's not like that, Tony. I'm sorry. Don't fuck yourself and log off. Tony, no, I don't mean it like that. Fuck you. Tony, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... Fuck off. Go I fuck not... yourself in hell, you fucking CIA faggot. No, I'm not I'm not a CIA you're a agent. Son, you fucking fag. You're a murderer just like your father. Trying to steal America, man. Just fuck off. Just go the fuck away. <sighs>